With the patient prone, identify the operative level through palpation and interoperative fluoroscopy. Make a 4 to 5 cm midline incision and elevate the paraspinous musculature, exposing the spinous processes and lamina. Remove the supraspinous and interspinous ligaments to allow for proper sizing and placement of the Primaloc SP. Place distractor pins in the spinous processes and distract the space using the lumbar retractor and extension arms. Size the interspinous space starting with the 8mm sizer and increasing sequentially until proper size is determined. Holding the implant inserter, make sure the slider tab on the inserter is in the clamp position. Open the distal jaws of the inserter by releasing the ratchet arm. Additional opening of the distal jaws can be achieved by depressing the tab on the ratchet arm. Locate the corresponding implant in the implant caddy. Place the inserter over the desired implant and align the spherical tabs on the inserter with the mating holes on the implant. Gently squeeze the inserter, engaging the inserter to the implant. With the implant secured to the inserter, lift from the caddy and place into the inner spinous space, as far anterior and close to the lamina as possible. Gently squeeze the inserter to compress the implant plates together, seating the teeth on the grips into the bone. Confirm that each polyaxial grip has seated into the spinous process and locked out, having no motion. Place the slider tab into the lock position. With the implant seated, Provisionally lock the PrimaLock SP into position by squeezing the inserter until an audible click is heard. Place the slider tab back into the clamp position and release the ratchet arm. Gently rock the inserter to disengage the spherical tabs from the implant. Confirm placement with fluoroscopy and visual inspection prior to final locking of the implant. Align the lock ring compressor so the circular cutout fits over the tip of the central post and the dimple seats onto the base of the post on the opposite side of the implant. Squeeze the locking tool until an audible click is heard. This indicates that the final locking compressive force on the lock ring has been achieved. If desired, pack graft material into the graft space. Release distraction and remove the distractor pins.